Hello and welcome, Zamora Gaming fans. I am your host, Joe Zamora here, and we are continuing with our Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. Welcome, welcome. How are y'all doing today? Let me share the stream for one second. And we got one viewer. Welcome, welcome. There we go. Jaden, welcome to the stream, man. All right. Um, let's go over what we did last episode. It was kind of a welcoming episode. Dusty has graced us with eight more eggs down here. And last episode, we hatched our starter, Shellos, the shiny, sh uh, the shiny Shelly, the shiny Pokemon. Hey, Jeremy Stewart, welcome to the stream. Uh, gifted to us by uh, Zach, of course. And then we have Alice here, gifted to us by Jeremy. And then we have Pee Pee Pincher, nicknamed by Morgan. Also uh, gifted to us by Jeremy, I believe. I know this one was Jaden's Pokemon that he submitted. And we nicknamed it Jaden. <laughs> A little uh, knock to our first Nuzlocke here. Uh, the Pokemon Shield that we did. Then we have Eddie. The Dreepy. And then I nicknamed this one 007 Sobble. Your eggs are here, Dusty. So whenever I catch my next encounter, uh, I'll be using one of your eggs first. So for sure, your eggs will be used. I don't hatch them yet, though. I only hatch them whenever... Oh, it's not your Shellos. That's the Shellos we got from Zach. But, uh, since you gave me some eggs, we're going to use those for the next encounter. But we got to make progress real quick to get to that next encounter. Alright, here we got some more story. So, instead of talking about this story, which everyone already knows, I've played through it like three times. Uh, I'm going to talk about a work story. Excuse me. So I was at, oh, never mind. That took uh, a lot quicker than I thought. Oh, I guess I can continue with my story. So I was at work, and let's see. Oh, yeah, there's this lady's house that we're moving, and she is rich. Like, Rich, rich. And she had this mantle that's not like a real fireplace mantle. She just kind of had it made and installed into a room. And we were trying to, like, figure out how to get this thing off the wall. Because we, we saw it as, damn, it's like they glued it on here. So we kind of yanked and pulled and... We asked the lady, like, we don't want to break your mantle. Is there, like, a specific way they did this or something? And she was like, uh, I'm not sure. And she was like, it's okay. Just rip the wall if you have to, but get the mantle off. And, uh, we found screws that it was actually attaching it to some boards against the wall. So I was like, that's freaking interesting and creative. So it looked like there was a fireplace in that room, but there wasn't. And we didn't have to destroy property to get it off. <laughs> and we're going to go with the number 43 here, because obviously that is my favorite number. So that's the one I'm going to stick with. <clears throat> so now I guess we make our way over to the hotel. 
And we have a few more battles before we can actually go to the next route and collect the Pokemon. I think we collect a couple Pokemon over there. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, sorry. I caught a glimpse of an item over here. Ooh, what's this? Three burn hills. How fitting. I like how they kind of bombard the fire gym stadium as like just a welcoming stadium. All right, what's that? A repel. Eh, not too useful in this game, but I guess. Well, let's go ahead and make our way over here and see what is in store. Dude, we don't need three cutscenes just to walk three steps to the left. But, um, I talked about my day. So how is y'all's day going, guys? Anything new? As uh, Sonya talks our ear off. Alright, and she continues to talk about the sword legendary, I believe. And we want the short version. Because, shut up, Sonya. That's why. Yeah, those are the two I was thinking of. Oh, and we could also get one here as soon as we get the fishing rod. Yeah, same old, same old. Not much exciting stuff happens at work. Alright, now our first ferocious encounter with the Team Yell people. Didn't we tell you, mate, you get in our way and you're in for a battle? Team Yell's all about helping, helping. One very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. When we want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us? I don't know why I fluctuated from, like, Irish to British. And if you hear any talking in the background, it's, uh... Steven, my brother, talking to his gal friend. It's Team Geeks. Oh, well, she's not watching, so I can't tell. Hey, John Lee. How's it going? Thanks for sharing. Uh, a Facebook link, I guess. Alright, we got a Zigzagoon right in front of us, so we're going to go ahead and Water Pulse here. And hello to my lovely wife who is watching. Alright, so that Water Pulse did a good amount of damage, so we're going to go ahead and go again. Alright, we take care of that one, and that first Team Yell Grunt goes down. And, um, please do not share links, I guess, in my stream, unless it's to one of my older videos. That'd be great. Thank you. Team Yell Grunt sent out Nick it. So we're going to take on this Nicket here. And let's go ahead and just keep uh, Shellos out here. And go for an Ancient Power. We need to count down and see how many times I use this move and see how many times I actually get the boost. Alright, no boost, but we used two so far. 
I know eventually sometime in this playthrough we're gonna get that boost. And it's kind of sucky that they only have one Pokemon because I can't really switch out into another Pokemon without taking an unnecessary attack. Because as we all know, the first gym's grass, and that's something Shelly does not want to battle. Alright, thank you, Hop, for healing my team. And now we're going to do a quick double battle here. I wish I knew how to stew, do the Stewie voice. I'd give them all the Stewie voice. Alright, so we got a Nicket and a Zigzagoon. Gularian for. And we're just going to go ahead and go for the Water Pulse into the Zigzagoon. Yeah, go ahead. Beat up his Wulu. I don't care about his Wulu. And Zigzagoon goes down thanks to our double attack into it. And let's just go ahead and uh, water pulse it again. Now it gives us a swift quick attack, which is not nice. Why would you use Growl? It's a useless move. There's only one Pokemon there, and you use Growl. I should have attacked my partner there for being an idiot. But down goes the Nicket. And we get some levels on Alice and Pincher. Pee Pee Pincher. So now that we got these annoying buffoons out the way, maybe we can actually make some progress. What you doing here? Get the fuck out of the hotel. I'm trying to get some sleep. Alright, so this is Marnie, everybody. She's going to be like a side rival that we have. Of course, you know this. But never hurts to fill in the details for the people who might just be jumping in just to watch. Alright, so finally we get to get into our room here and move on with our story. Oh my god, what was that? I guess he's trying to pitch for the Rangers. Alright, let's go to the stadium. Hopefully no more interruptions. And I know there's going to be an interruption, so let's go ahead and put... Let's see, what kind of moves you got, buddy? Yeah, we're going to put uh, Alice up front. Oh, Marnie's your, the best rival, you think, Jeremy? What's your favorite thing about her? Alright. Okay. Oh, I thought she was going to battle us. Oh, well. But... Now we go to the stadium, and we don't need your help, dude. Leave me alone. Yeah, I know, Dusty. But uh, I put that option to skip videos, but it's a stupid option because there's no v skippable videos up to this point. So it's like, why give it, why even give us the option? Alright, we rep in the beautiful number 43. It's looking sharp out there. Better fucking believe it. Yeah, I can see that, Jeremy. A lot of people really like her, though. I don't really have a favorite rival. They're all pretty much the same. Rose, you're evil. No one cares about you. Spoiler alert! But no one cares what you have to say. 
He has a beer belly too. Like hardcore beer belly. Does it did anyone else notice that? I've noticed that since the first playthrough. He's just got a beer gut. Uh I forgot what he said to do. Oh, I thought they did the introduction to where they show everyone off. I guess not. That's interesting. Alright, so I guess we can just go on and move on. No little cutscene there. Unless I skipped it. Huh, the first cuttable scene. Alright, well now we can fly around, so that's very useful. And uh, before we continue, I think I want to find the guy who can give me the old rod here. Haha, <laughs> but it's not like that. So I could fish for a Pokemon. Wag! I can help. See, I've never done the side mission. Where is it? He says it's over by the water park thing. and I've checked by the water park thing. There's no one there. Oh, man. Cutscene. Alright, sure. Let's, let's have a battle, I guess. Oh, turf field is where you get the fish pole? Oh. Turf field is something else. Alright, I'll check the bag. I'll see if I have the fishing pole. I don't think I do, though, but... Maybe you do get that early on. Alright, Alice is Intimidate, and she's shaking that booty. And she goes for a Thundershock here. And that doesn't do too good of damage, but I guess it's better than the damage is doing to us. Let's see if our tackle does more. Oh, it's not now. Well, that did actually a good chunk, but now that it's uh, growling us, I'm going to just go for the thunder shot. Oh my god, critical hit. Alright, so now it does the same, but we don't want to risk another critical hit, so we're going to go ahead and heal. Excuse me. I have a feeling we're going to get a good amount of evolutions on this route, too. Alright, here we go. Thundershock for the kill. What was the turf field answer for, Jeremy? I forgot what I asked. And we got the kill. All right, we're going to get rid of uh, that move for bite. <clears throat> Just screw moves that don't do damage. Let's go ahead and get PP Puncher out here. I mean, PP Pincher. Yeah, same thing. Oh, okay. That, yeah, dumb me. <laughs> Taste our power! Hey, ha, go climb a tree. Oh my god! That, oh yeah, it's ground type. But I thought bug type resisted it. I guess not. Alice, come do your come do your job. Fight these grass types. Okay, so so far we have We have two Pokemon weak to grass, so that's not good. But Alice is a good resistant for it, I believe. And that does more damage, so let's go with Bite. It's not Stab anyway. 
Alright, yeah, I just had to make sure. So I did skip the movie then. Alright, that's not good. Alright, but Alex is taking the hits pretty well thanks to Intimidate, so we should be fine. I've been playing. Oh yeah, I'm barely at the beginning of the game. Hmm? I can't hear what you're saying. Yeah. Alright, two more eggs would be useful. Let me just kill this Grookey first. And let me get those encounters. Oh! Grookey. Yeah, we're going to heal up again. No, that would have been bad. Oh, so he's going to heal up too. What a jerk. Like, who does that? No, he just used a potion. Oh, yeah. I do have those two left, Jeremy. But I'm going to use some of Dusty's since he gave me so many. And then I'll go back and circulate through so everyone's eggs get used. So how do you organize the eggs? Um, I just have them, like, I, re I kind of remember what people give me. Yeah. Okay, so Thundershock's doing more than the... Oh, it's a critical hit. That's why. Hey, don't be scared. Give him some terrible eggs if you have to. He needs to struggle on his egg lot. can't be that easy. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have Weedle in this game yet. Nope, not yet. Alright. Uh, yes, they do. Um, now we're gonna have to heal up again. This Grookey is bulky. And it's growled us so many times. Grookey. <clears throat> Both fire types, or just fire? <laughs> the, uh, what... You said your shellos was your starter, right? Yeah, well, yeah, it replaced my starter. So, hopefully, 30. Yeah, but it's really weak until level 30. Yeah, because that's when it turns into ground type. Well, it's already a ground. Yes. Oh, no, wait, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Alright, let's see if Alice can get the kill here. No, it's not going to get the kill. Alright, we're going to heal again. We don't want to risk a crit right there. Oh, sweet. So they're both fire types. That might be useful for our... Our uh, grass weakness we got going on here. So I might pick one of those since I'm sure there's a fire type. So you're getting help from the inside. Alright, Thundershock and let's do this. Let's kill this thing finally. Is Jesus. You get, uh, one egg for every route? Yeah. And I have to catch the Pokemon, or else I don't get an egg. Oh, so you actually do have You to gotta catch trade them out. <clears throat> but I can level them up to the level they were. So you have to. No, I have the candies. I know, but you gotta have to get them. No, I just did, uh, I just did some of the raids to oh. get the candies. That's gonna be hard. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to grind up on them now whenever I'm not I'll record. recording. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I have to double check. Ooh, hidden ability is always nice. <clears throat> but so far, we still got this rookity to freaking deal with. So let's hope this Thundershock does the job. Yeah, right. Yeah, no thanks. I did it. It took a long time. Exactly. No thanks. The only reason I did it though is because he looks sick. Golden. I'm okay. I'd rather give it up. Alright, Thundershock. And it does the damage. I think that was a crit. No? Just a high roll. So now Hop is officially dealt with.
And Alice grew to level 13. So we're going to heal up real quick. We're going to check if we have the fishing rod. And we can get three Pokemon here, I believe. One here in the town. And then one on the next route. Then one in the cave. Yeah, I already have the fishing rod. So good looking out, Jeremy. Uh, yes, Nares, I still need eggs, but I will collect more after I'm done streaming. Because uh, Dusty did help me out with a bunch of eggs so far. And again, remember the Volcarona is just here to help me hatch eggs with its flame body, flame body ability. So it is not an actual team member. It will not be used. So let's go ahead and make sure we have Pokeballs to start. Okay, so we got 17 Pokeballs and 4 Luxury Balls. Let's go ahead and come out here, avoid any trainers, and just catch something. A Gossip Flower. A Gossip Flower. All right, you know what we do. Let's just chuck a Pokeball and see if it catches first. Be our friend. We don't want to hurt you. Just join the party and be our friend. Forever and ever. In the PC box. Ha! <laughs> Got you. See, that's a lot better than having to weaken it and catch it. Or Pokemon going over here. All right, we're going to replace Gossip Flower. I'm going to do Jeremy's right egg. And then we'll have to see what we get for the cave encounter. Whoa, don't do that. All right, three hill balls. So we got more Pokeballs now. Oh, man, we're going to have to fight. Get away from me. All right, so we're going to have to fight somebody here. So we're going to use PP Pincher. It's just to help hatch eggs. Uh, and it does raids for me. Oh, Yeah. All right, so we got to pinch him here against our bug and ground type. Wait, no, it's just ground type, right? I'm stupid. What am I thinking? I wish it was a bug type, but I guess it's not. Wait, so dude, yeah, Pokemon blue and red were the first one. Mm-hmm. Does that mean since you get all the three, um, gen two starters? By just like restarting it? No, it's a different hack. You can't do that in red and blue. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> How'd you figure out about it? Um, how I figured out those hacks, uh, I would go to work with Dead and use the computer. And, um, Luis told me he, he was able to hack the games. Because he would have, like, 999 rare candies and stuff. So, he kind of taught me the glitch. But, I figured out more glitches online. Alright, we got Circle Throat out. And Shellos is here. So we're going to go ahead and water pulse to take this thing out. Um, I didn't feel any particular way about shinies. And my first shiny was actually a shiny coughing. Uh, full odds. Shiny coughing. It was green. And purple. And it was in a Pokemon Heart Gold. In the burn tower. 
So that was a pretty amazing thing. I didn't even know really shiny anything. I was just like, what the hell is that? And it was just an off-colored coughing. And then um, later in that same game, I was looking for a ditto. And I found a shiny drowsy. Full odds. Not even trying to get a shiny. two times I actually got a shot or actually three times I got a shot from one trap. I got uh, Pokemon Sapphire and I broke one of those rocks with the rock smash and I got the shot. Geodude like Yeah speak up no one can hear you. So yeah pretty much Sapphire I used rock smash on one of the rocks I was looking for Latios and uh, I ended up getting a shiny Geodude and then, on the same game, I ended up getting a shiny Pelipper, which was green. But my very first shiny was probably the most awesome one, which was like, the shiny Vulpix, which was gold. Which I traded to you, and I never got that. <laughs> and I evolved it. And you evolved it, like I said, not to, because it was gold. That was a leaf green one, too. That one was hard to get, especially with that drop. Mm-hmm. No, that was emerald. I remember I got it on the left of Viridian, not Viridian, no, uh, Lavender Town. There we go. I got it in that little square right there next to the bike. Alright, well, we got this Deli Bird giving us presents. Let's see if it's good. Nope, that one was bad. But we're gonna munch this bird up for Thanksgiving breakfast. Ah, oh, why don't you heal me, you douche? And Deli Bird goes down. Alright guys, so here's the thing. Do you count a tree shaking encounter as a static encounter? Or do you count it as the route encounter? Because if it's static encounter, we can hatch more eggs. Alright, let's I didn't even look at what uh moves we could teach our Pokemon. Swift, eh, not too cared for it. Alright, now we're good. Let's just go ahead and heal up Pee Pee Pincher. Alright, so Jeremy said static. And my brother said static, so we're going to go ahead and treat it as a static encounter and get four encounters right now instead of three. Alright, so everyone's pretty much at the same level. I'm going to keep Pee Pee Pincher out there. I don't remember what this young boy has to throw out, but he better watch his Pee Pee. Let's go ahead and his name Schoolboy Peter. Schoolboy Peter better watch his PP pee -pee from PP Pincher. Alright, so he has a fire type and bug type. So this ground move, I believe, is going to be neutral. But he has nothing to deal with this. And slap, Mud Slap didn't do as much as I thought it would. But we can't uh, get away right now. And um, what does laser focus do? I'm not too worried about it. Let's just go ahead and start biting. And he had the same idea. Did I miss? That was weird. But... PP Pincher still going at it. He's munching on something. Alright. We took that like a boss. And Bite should take it out. So down goes Salizzle. I know that's not the name. But that's what I said. Alright. Here we go. Alice in Chains. Come on out. 
Yeah, here comes the rooster. Yeah. He ain't gonna die. No. I flinched. Damn. Okay, that makes sense. I did get bit. But now Shanks is shaking the booty and biting the dotler. He's doing the wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, not enough. Confusion. Okay, we took that pretty well. Now let's go ahead and bite this thing in half. Alright, down goes Dotler. And Alice grew to level 15 as well as PP Pincher. Oh! And Alice is evolving. So everyone leave a like for that. Ooh, ooh. Stop dying in Fortnite. <laughs> Are you doing solos? No, I'm playing true. Hmm. All right, now we got a mighty Luxio, a middle evolution. I wonder if it still shakes that booty. All right, now we can finally heal up here and get our next encounter. Thank you. You held us twice, so it was nice. Come here, Drillber. I want to be your friend. Now she's a teenager. All right, Pokeball. Go. Beautiful. Only if that Krabby could have stayed in the ball. That would have been amazing. <sighs> Alright. So, we caught another Pokemon. And no nickname for Jober. Because it's going right in the PC. Alright. Wrong button. Alright, Jober. You're going to be one of Dusty's eggs. And I'm going to go with this one. It looks promising. Alright, we're going to come back out and go get that static encounter. Yeah, Krabby was a douche. He just wanted to stay in the ball. Shook three times and then he broke out. Multiple occasions. And most of the time, the, he didn't even shake the freaking ball. He just broke out. And uh, he thinks he's strong. I don't want to battle this girl. Uh, run this way. There we go. Well, I want my hatch Pokemon to get the experience, too. All right. Static encounter time. I won't do this. I won't do the trees in the wild areas because that's too much but if they're on a route I'll do the trees give me that wow I could shake this thing a lot shake 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 but don't break it and it's a squivet gotta love it it's a squivet all right pokeball go a one? Oh no! Too cocky there. PP Puncher did not like that. I mean, Pincher. I keep saying Puncher. Alright, mud slap time. Ah, oh, Squivet is actually faster than Trapinch here. Well, hopefully, we'll start getting some misses here. Let's 
go ahead and mud slap. And another mud slap. We're gonna keep doing this so the evasion keeps going down. Jesus Christ. You're, you're negative three in accuracy. Act like it. Now you're negative four. Oh my god. No! Oh my goodness. Like to live on the wild side. Alright, we're gonna heal before we throw a Pokeball. No, I'm not gonna waste a super potion. Yeah, it is Conquer, right? Well, I named my uh, Meowth Conquer because Berserker has a bunch of frizzy hair all over the place. So I thought Conquer's bad for day would have worked better there. All right, Squivet, I just beat you up. Let's be friends. Here's a friend ball. Just so you know, I hit you for your own good. You didn't want to stay in the ball. All right, now we're getting an extra egg to our party. All right, no, I don't want to give it a nickname because it's soon going to be in the box. And we're not going to use, let's see. We're not going to use, here, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this egg. And we're not going to use Alice right now. And let's put Shellos at the front so he can gain the most experience. And let's go. Oh, Pokeball. Beat up. Nah, I mean. Got that wop. Just kidding, guys. I don't like that song. Okay. Uh, she's looking. She's looking. Look away. There we go. Save the drama for your llama. Hey, look. A Corvusquire. Come here. Let me catch you. Well, that's not happening. Yep, Sandy Cheeks would have been a perfect nick. No! I didn't want to get captured. I didn't want that guy to see me. I want to. I want to do these eggs. Yeah, and grass is not the best thing to have out. All right. Well, um, I put Alice away, so this isn't good. All right, I'm breaking my own rule. I didn't want to battle this guy, so I'm not going to. I don't care if y'all think this is cheating. I'm not battling this guy. What the heck? Oh, it's level 100. Well, we'll call this a mulligan. Wake up, Volcarona, so you can kill this thing. Okay. Now we can... Get a glass of floor. Knocked out. And if you want, I'll have Alice kill two wild ones. Because they're the same level. But I was not about to lose some Pokemon to that kind of nonsense. Alright, so let's make it back. Don't go in the... And let's go get this final encounter. Oh, we got an egg. Jeremy, what's your egg? Oh, it's a score bunny. All right, if we don't get a Charmander, we're definitely using this. And we're going to call it... So, we're going to call it Ronaldo. 
He's one of the best soccer players in the world, from what I hear. So. Oh, I heard, yeah, maybe Messi's better. I don't know. I know somebody I know likes Ronaldo a lot. Oh, might be Marcus. Ooh, we got a silk scarf. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, it's a Pokey doll. I want a piece of candy because that's a rare candy. What are you doing, dude? Nothing. Useless. Waste of my time. What are you doing? Another waste of my time. What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Waste of my time, guys. Yeah, I'm not wasting no more time. Let's go get this last encounter. Oh, wait. Where's that Minshew? Oh, wait. Another egg. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll check the HA right now. <laughs> oh, a Squirtle. <laughs> Another water type. <clears throat> Dusty, would you like to um, nickname the Squirtle? I will wait. Cuz you gave it to me. You can nickname one. Other people have nicknamed their own. Okay. Well, I'll nickname it then. Uh, let's go with, let's go with, mm, Steven, what was your nickname of Squirtle? Shell Shocker. Oh, it's too much, isn't it? Probably. Um, you think Shell Shock will fit? Really? Be original. Why? It's a good, okay, okay, call him Squirtle. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Squirt it is. All right. Now let's go ahead and check out these two real quick. So Ronaldo does have the Libero ability. So that's going to come in handy. And then we got a Rain Dish Squirtle. Turters. Oh, I'm sorry. We already picked the Squirt. Wait, what's this over here? I don't remember doing this. Even if there's no point in having a chin wag. What? It's still great to hear the voice of someone you like. Fucking nerd! Ooh, what's this? Revival herb. I'll take it. So I can sell it, but I'll take it. Ooh, fake out and mirror code. That's nice. But our grass weakness is horrible right now. So I'm going to actually have to put that one in the box for now. And let's see what this last one is. I believe this is another Dusty original. Ooh, an Encada. I'm actually going to use this one. Alright, let's see. I'm going to nickname this. Because I technically get two Pokemon out of this. I'm going to nickname it. Jet. Because this one's going to be the living one. No, they should complement names. Yeah, I have an open spot still. I'm gonna because I already have a water type, so I'm gonna put a uh, Squirtle in the box, and I'm gonna use Ninkata. I know it's ground right now, but soon it'll be a uh, uh, bug flying. 
and we'll have a bug ghost. Let's go ahead and nickname this thing. Hmm. All right, Jet and Tet. I like it. <coughs> so, Shed Angel will be Jet. No, wait. Shed Angel will be Tet. And Ninjask will be Jet. Hopefully that was confusing enough for everybody. I thought you could only have both. I will have an open spot. I thought you can't bring them back. No, I can. We're not playing by uh, cage lock rules. It's regular Nuzlocke. And let's go ahead and... Let's just go ahead and put an egg in our party now. Because I think we can catch a magic card pretty easily. What? What is that good for? I mean, the. It a, I mean, the, the one that only has one HP. Oh, Shedinja? Because it has Wonder Guard, so it only gets hit by super effective attacks. Oh, gee, he's a. Yeah, because it. As long as you're not fighting a. Ghost, fire, rock, flying. Yeah, basically. As long as you're fighting a Pokemon you know can't hit it, it's good. Alright, Shelly. Um, every Pokemon has a weakness, but... Yeah. You can only get hit by super effective moves. Every Pokemon has a super effective weakness now. It used to be Spirit Tomb in black and white. Because uh, if you ginned it. Hey, Kelsey Loya, how you doing? Alright, Pokeball again. Uh, Alice is going to be on the team. I just have it there because I was hatching so many eggs. Oh, I forgot to level them up. Let me go ahead and do that now. So anyone, well, this new egg that's going to fill in for Magikarp is going to be level 10. That's good to hear. Uh, let's see. Oh, we need to see the levels first. Uh, so, let's see, Drillbur was 13, so Jet will be 13, so both of them 13, and we got Magikarp in the place of this egg, so we're good. Damn it. Uh... Let's go ahead and start leveling up. Here we go. And get to level 13. I'm going to do it slowly so it doesn't go over. Alright. A few more. Level 10. Okay, so I'm going to give it 12. Should be level 13. Oh, no. Okay, let's try this. Small candy, 1. Alright, level 13 it is. And let's do three, two of these. Oh, one level over, but that's fine. Learn Ember, Quick Attack, and Double Kick, which we will get rid of Tackle for, since we have Quick Attack. Alright. We didn't make too much progress today, but we're getting there. 
So now we're going to go ahead. Oh my god. Wrong button. We're going to go ahead and try to get this last egg hatched. And then next episode we will continue on with our journey through the what you call it. Well, I can at least get us back to the cave, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, a poniard. That's going to be cool. And I'm going to name this thing. I already know what I'm going to name it. It's going to be Edward. Edward Scissorhands. Fruits. Ooh, is Ronaldo adamant? I didn't even look at the real natures and builds of these Pokemon. So, real quick to go over. We have Shellos. With a naive nature, good neutral nature, I believe, or it boosts special defense. It's one of those. And then we have a lax PP pincher with hyper cutter. Then we have compound eyes Ninkata. Jolly nature. So our uh, Pokemon's going to be physical with very good speed. Then we have an Adamant Ronaldo with Libero ability, so it could change its typing. And then we have Edward, an Adamant Edward, which is great, especially when we get Sucker Punch and such. And then we have Inner Focus, which prevents flinching and also, I believe, prevents uh, like attack lowering with Intimidate and stuff. Yeah, Death is a good nickname, but I'm going more with the nostalgia factor of uh, Edward Scissorhands. I really liked that movie when I was younger. Alright, here we go. Don't give this one too many of these. Let's just do two. Okay, we went one over again. Damn it. But we should be fine. It learned Fear Cutter and Metal Claw. And let's get back to where we were. So, so far, our team is looking pretty mean. Let's, let's, uh, get Alice back out here. And put this thing here. So, so far in our reserves, we have three waters and a dragon. So, we have Squirt, 007, Eddie, and Jaden. Uh, adaptability is great and it's adamant then we have Eddie who is clear body which is good and naughty how naughty and then we got an amazing 007 with modest and sniper ability to boost those crit hits and then we have squirt with rain dish ability and it's modest as well so so far all right, like I said, our team is looking fantastic. And we're going to go ahead and put Jet up front for now, since it's one of our lower po level Pokemon, but not too low level to where it can't battle. And let's go ahead and hit up the trainers we missed. And then we can start, uh, we can save once we get to the cave. You saw an open, you were in the opening ceremony, correct? Yes, lady, I was. Yeah, Jeremy, I hope you uh, test battle your gym leader team. Okay, well, Jet, this is not the best first battle for you. So we're going to go ahead and switch back out to Shellos. Since we can resist the fire types attacks, and then we're going to go for a Mighty Water Pulse. Ember it goes. Water Pulse goes down. And Vulpix should go down. Yes! Beautiful. How naive of that Vulpix. Alright, PP Pincher grew to level 17 and wants to learn Sand Tomb. And we shall teach it. Over Mud Slap. So now Pokemon can't get away. 
Oh, we beat Ray, the person we lost to in the finals. Well, so much for that. Uh, not going that way, not going that way, not going that way. Get away from me, get away from me. And I think we only have that girl to battle. Right here. And hopefully this is better in Counterfeit and Kata. So it can gain its own levels. And, um, we're actually going to put, uh... Let's put PP Pincher in the PC and give Jet a Pokeball to hold so when it does evolve, we can get a Shed Ninja as well. We're going to give this to Ronaldo. It would make the most use out of it. Um, and I guess uh, tomorrow we'll look at moves that these Pokemon can learn. But as of right now, let's give it a luxury ball. Well, maybe, uh, there we go. It didn't really have a move, a decent move to be used. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of Scratch and learn Leech Life. Because that's a much better move. And that's pretty much it. There's not much else it can learn. And I'd rather learn um, uh, Leech Life instead of X-Scissor. Because it's the same power and Leech Life at least gives up gives a power back. And perfect. We have a Dark type as the first battle. And yes, Dusty, uh, Morgan nicknamed PP Pincher. Alright, so Perlon goes for the Growl straight off the bat. And we're going to go into it with the Stab Leech Life. Oh, so close. Without that Growl, we could have got it. So let's just go ahead for another Leech Life. And double Growl. That's annoying. Alright, so we grow to level for some Pokemon, and we have a Squivet next, so we're going to go ahead and switch out to Ronaldo here, no, Edward here, and give it some screen time. Since especially we should resist all its moves, and also Edward is a little low level than everyone else, so let's go ahead and go for a Mighty Metal Claw. That does pretty good damage. Okay, it's going for a useless Tailwind. I have no idea why you were breeding Squirtles, but maybe you wanted to try out um, the Shell Smash. The Shell Smash Squirtle. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Whenever it evolves. Because I do know we have a very hard battle coming up. And our bug type Pokemon is just the Pokemon for that battle. Alright guys. So, so far, so good with our egg lock. Everything's moving pretty good. For episode 2, we got a bunch of encounters and a bunch of new eggs and friends to join our team. And to some set in the box, but you know. Tis is life. But, um, for now we have Jet, Shelly, Alice, Ronaldo, Edward, and PP Pincher as our active members. Of course, Jet is needing an empty spot, so we will have PP Pincher off to the right for now. And... Oh, that makes sense, too. You do like to help people with the breeding. 
But uh, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will stream again probably Friday night or Saturday night. So look forward to those nights. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.